Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV at Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I work here in, at TransWest in horse trailer sales. Ooh, it's bright today. Um, what we've got here today is a trailer that we've had for just a little bit. It is a 2022 bullseye stock combo. Um, this is a trailer that I think that a lot of people will find very useful in that it's pretty convertible into how you use it. There is uh, the ability to have a full gate in the back. So if you need a little extra room for storage or you have a nasty horse that you want to separate from everybody else, you've got that cut gate in there that you can separate out. Uh, or you can run this open, haul four wheelers, um, hay, all kinds of animals. So this is a really cool little setup. This trailer is pretty comparable to a three horse bumper pull bullseye. So you've got the same size tack set up um, and the same size stall area as you would on a three horse bullseye. So I know right now trailers are really hard to come by. So if you're not finding what you're looking for, this might be a really great option for you um, if you're looking to haul three horses. So let's start up here at the front. Once again, this is a bumper pull setup. Um, if you come to hook up this trailer, we're going to ask that you have a 2 and 5 16 ball for your trailer. Um, when you're here, we do have a lot of options, so if you need a drop hitch or anything like that, our parts department is fully equipped to help you out with that. We've got some safety features on this one, uh, such as your safety chains. You've got a little lock for your hitch so that it doesn't pop open going down the road. You've got your breakaway cable here so that if for any reason your trailer got disconnected from your truck, this is to be connected separate from your chains so that your brakes will engage once your truck gets far enough away from it. So those are some safety features that are standard on these trailers. Um, you've got your seven way connector here. We will require that you have um, a brake system on your truck to control these trailers. You've got four electric brakes on this trailer. We don't want the truck to have to do all the work. It's a safety issue, so we do require that you have working trailer brakes when you leave here. Up front, this is the part of the trailer that takes the most abuse on a bumper pull. So this is your, uh, your tread bright that they've got. It's a little more heavy duty than this 050 aluminum sheet up above. So this is where you're gonna get a lot of that gravel and rock blast. Um, it's gonna take the majority of the abuse, so we, we kind of dress it up and give it a little bit more structural strength there. One thing that a lot of people really, really love on these Logans is this uh, vortex lining that they do. Logans are a galvanized steel frame with aluminum sheeting. So galvanized steel is not like black steel. Um, it's actually infused with zinc. So it's got more strength, about 18% stronger than your black steel will be. But you also don't have to use as much material and it's more rust resistant. So Logan believes that between their vortex and the galvanized steel, they're never gonna have any issues with rust. So they do a, on top of their two year hitch to bumper and eight year structural, they do a lifetime limited warranty for the first owner against any structural corrosion. So we've got a really good warranty to stand behind on this trailer. This vortex coating, it just really helps protect against a lot of rock chips, um, helps it look, keep looking nice for a long time to come. So up front here, we have our tack room. Um, this is a nice smaller size tack room. So if you're concerned about weight or length on this trailer, I think this is a really good, good amount of space and it's set up really well to use. So that, since this is set up as a three horse, we do have a three tier saddle rack. These are movable, so if you're not quite tall enough to reach this one up in here, even when it's inside, you can move it to the lower position. Or if you have a little too many saddles, we can always get another one of these thrown in here. Um, we usually keep one on hand, or we've got trailers coming from Logan all the time if we need to get one ordered. Got a little brush box here. Um, there is a little piece of carpet in here. So if you want, it can stay a lot cleaner. It's really easy to just take this little piece out and wash it off. Um, if you have any uh, shampoos or conditioners that leak out onto it, just really nice for your grab and go items. 
really like how easy that swing out saddle rack goes back in. Uh, you don't have to fight and wrestle it and you, it's on a nice little shock so you don't have to worry about it being jumping out at you when you get to your destination. In your tack room, you have 12 bridle hooks up above. There is carpeting behind. There's a couple reasons they do that. Number one, it's a lot nicer on your head stalls and bridles that you pay a lot of money for. Um, number two, your bits are usually here. So what we want to avoid is your animals having to listen to that clink, clink, clink going down the road. So by having carpeting behind it, you're muffling that noise a little bit, making it a little more pleasant for whoever's on the other side. Got a four tier swing out blanket bar here. Um, I like that it swings out because if you've got big bulky pads that you need to throw on here, it's a lot easier than if it was always in this position and you were having to, to slam them in here. So just gives you a little more flexibility um, to move about. Uh, this trailer does have a spare. Uh, we just borrowed it for another trailer that was leaving. So there will be a spare on this tire as soon as it arrives. Got one coming from Logan. We've got LED lights in here. Um, when you're hooked up to your truck, you will have the ability to turn these on and off. They've also got individual little light switches on them, or you can turn them on and off from here. So two ways to control those. Uh, the LED lights we like because they put out more light. They're a lot brighter. They use less energy. So all around a good buy. You've got a little window here on your tack room door. It's just really nice for some ventilation, especially if you've just come from a long hot ride and you've got some stinky saddle pads that you need to throw back in here. It's really nice to be able to open that window up on your drive home and get some extra ventilation going through there. Once again, there's carpeting on the floor of this one. It comes out just like that brush box. So if you need to pull the carpet out and hose it down with a power washer, it is a marine grade carpet. So it's gonna be a lot easier to clean with a little soap and water. Um, so you can look, keep your trailer looking nice for a long time to come. This trailer is standard height and standard width. So on a Logan that's six, nine wide and seven feet tall. So if you're hauling horses, they're gonna have plenty of headroom, assuming you're not hauling any monsters. If you're hauling cattle or sheep or goats or anything like that, they're gonna have plenty of room in this trailer. Right here, you've got the corrugated side sheets. Um, it just gives it a nice clean look. This is the same thing we have on all our bullseye horse trailers. Um, it's a little more heavy duty than your 050 aluminum sheets. So we like to put it anywhere that the horses have access to. So generally you're gonna be tying up to one of these three tirings on either side. So I'm gonna make it look a little nicer for as long as possible. We do have the ability to do plexiglass slats in these air gaps. Um, this piece, end piece here is removable. So you can just take that off and slide your plexis right in. A lot of people like that in Colorado, most of our days are pretty nice and it's not something you usually have to close off, but if you wanna keep them a little bit cleaner in there um, or it is really cold, it is nice that you can have that option to get some plexis ordered and put in this trailer. So we did two upgrades over standard on this trailer. One thing you'll notice at TransWest is you usually don't see a purely standard optioned trailer. We usually like to add a little bit of extra. We think the extras that we add are worthwhile and they add a lot of value to the trailer. So one of the things we did on this one is we actually added the aluminum wheels over the steel wheels. Longevity wise, I think they look a lot cleaner for a lot longer um, and it just really dresses up this trailer. I think it looks really sharp going down the road. The second upgrade we did is in this, in this stock area back here. So you've got two 50-50 gates back here. You've got the ability to do the, side, or the plexiglass in these rear doors as well. But what you'll see is we optioned this one with a full cut gate. So the really nice thing about this is say you're just hauling two horses and you want to haul some extra hay with it and you don't um, you don't have a lot of room in your truck. This first stall right here 
It has plenty of room to haul coolers, hay, buckets, um, all the stuff that you don't want to put in your truck or the tack room, and your horses can ride back here. Or like I said, if you've got somebody that's maybe a little grumpy or somebody that doesn't need to be near other horses, this full gate acts like a stud divider, so they're going to be nice and enclosed back here uh, without causing any trouble as you're, as you're traveling. This is a 36-inch stall, so this is the same size stall that you have on your uh, three-horse bumper pull bullseyes or your two-horse bumper pull bullseyes. So you're not losing out on any space just because you've got this big gate here. Then you have the ability to do two other horses right here. We've got the tie rings up above um, so that you can tie them if you want. More LED lights in here. As I mentioned, you've got the control switch over there where you can turn them on and off individually. Makes a little more sense back here because you do have two lights. So if you do want to control a little bit more on what, how your light situation looks, pretty easy. As you'll notice, all these walls here are coated in this vortex lining. This stuff is pretty heavy duty. It's like the bed liner in your truck. So if you've got a horse that likes to paw and kick, it's going to be a little more heavy duty, hold up a little bit better in the long run. Under here, the floor, you've got the, um, the wood deck. It is coated in that vortex lining, especially in Colorado, where we don't have the humidity and the moisture. These wood floors will outlast a lot of other floors. Um, they're a little more cushioned for your horses. They have a little bit more give. So that is what's standard on these trailers. If you really like that fancy floor that Logan has, that's self-draining, we can do a whiz-proof floor with SureGrip on it in the bullseye setup. It is a little bit more expensive, but it's really nice not to have to ever use shavings. So that's something we have upgraded on a few of them here and there. The nice thing is these bullseyes, they don't have a ton of options, but I think that they've given us options in the places that are really worthwhile. So like if you wanted to add a water tank, you can. If you want to add a six foot hay rack, you can. If you would prefer to have the regular um, dividers in this trailer, We've got one that a customer just ordered um, that I think Morgan's done a video on that has the horse dividers in it. So we upgraded to this gate. We think it's a really nice little feature, but if you just want regular dividers in here, it's really easy to accomplish. So right over here, you'll notice the other side also has tie rings. So if you want to tie on either side, you're more than welcome to little button lights lets you see exactly where your trailer is um, at night. I really like them. I think they're they're super cute and they look good going down the road. Right here uh, a lot of times if we're asking you for a trade-in value I like to show it on these Logans because they do a really good job of uh, highlighting where what the DOT code is but if you're wanting a trade-in on this trailer then a lot of the times we'll be asking you your DOT code on your tires. The first two numbers are the week of production, the second two are the year. So this was produced in the 41st week of 2020. That's really nice because as a dealership, um, we wanna make sure there's a good set of running gear underneath this trailer for whoever has it next. So if you're trading something in, we want the tires to be even wear and tear um, within five years of production. So that DOT code, uh, will help us help us kind of figure out how old those tires are. They also have to be all matching. So that's something nice that when you buy a used trailer from TransWest, you are usually getting a better trailer than anybody else can offer you. On each exterior side of this trailer, you've got those little LED lights so that you can kind of see what you're doing at night, not have to worry about tacking up in the dark. They are adjustable, so if you need to change the angle on them, you can. I like that there's running boards since you're only six, nine wide on this trailer. You have some space to stand up there, uh, maybe untie some horses from the exterior before you let them out. So if you guys have any questions on this trailer, um, you can always go to our website, transwest.com, reference our stock number, it's 5N. 
201-174. I imagine that as trailers become more and more scarce, some of you might, might start looking at um, other options. This is essentially a three horse trailer. Um, it's very flexible. You can use it more like a box stall. You can haul uh, your, your four wheelers or furniture in it. Um, so I think that this is gonna be a really great option for someone to look at. If you guys have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. My name is Callie Say. You can reach me at 970-309-6368. I really appreciate you guys tuning in today. Have a great day.